So a very warm welcome. So you can probably see my face already, but there's a picture on the screen as well. So my name's Rachel and I'm a student recruitment and access officer from the University of Reading. And I'm joined by a couple of colleagues. So we've got Louise, um, who's going to be leading on the Q&A uh, part. And Louise is a regional student recruitment and access officer. You know, we are also joined by Sam, who is our, one of our senior admissions managers in our admissions department. Hi, everyone. My name is Samantha Drage. I'm Senior Admissions Manager here at the University of Reading. I've been working in admissions for quite a number of years now and um, hopefully I'll be able to answer all the questions that you have. Brilliant, thank you so much. So I'll pass, I'll pass over to, um, to Louise and Sam now. That's great, thanks so much Rachel. Um, um, somebody's asked, um, is going to university with a BTEC worth it? I was thinking about maybe doing an apprenticeship instead. So yeah, really good question. Um, and there's not a one answer that will suit every individual. I would just really suggest you look into the right kind of pathway for you and that might not necessarily be the same thing as your friend or you know someone else in your class or a family member. Um, there's lots of different routes out there you know. I would say there's no kind of absolute yes or no um, the right kind of answer but it's all about what's right for you so I would definitely recommend because doing your research um, you know it might be that your school or college does kind of careers fairs where they get people from different industries in and you can talk to them and you can ask them and especially if there's a particular kind of um, career path or industry that you really want to go into you know chatting to people who are in that industry and finding out how they got there you know that could give you some ideas it could be they did an apprenticeship or maybe they did the university or a degree apprenticeship you know all sorts available so I think research is really really key um, and attending open days um, at different universities will give you a feel for you know what undergraduate study is all about and what it's like and you know and then if you decide on you know uh, you know doing an apprenticeship or doing you know university then there's more things to research after that because each university is different and each course even though they might have the same course title actually the content of the course and how it's assessed and how you're taught is going to be really different as well so there's more research to do so I would just say yeah research 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 look into the right thing that right right kind of pathway pathway for you um somebody has asked um is uni a really big step up from BTEC I'm worried that I won't be able to handle the workload Oh, so again, not a yes or a no, because it would there'd be it would depend on the course you were studying at the moment and what course you're wanting to study at university. I think the university will be a step up. It is going to be, you know, harder kind of content, it's going to be, you know, um, taught differently. And ultimately at university, there's there's not going to be anyone banging on your door unless you've got some really kind housemates, but like getting you out of bed, you know, it's going to be your responsibility to make sure you're yourself motivated to get to your lessons and do the work um, and put that effort in. You know. We have, you know, at the university, we get, you know, students who've studied A-levels and you know, and BTECs. And I think across everyone, they will say, I know this is the same for me. There is, it is a step up. You know, you're going to be doing, you know, a, high, a higher level qualification. So in that, there will be an element of, um, you'll be, you, you might be assessed slightly differently, um, especially if maybe you're opting to do an undergraduate degree that has um, exams in it. And maybe that's something that your BTEC doesn't currently have. Um, so that, that'll be something to consider and something to be aware of. Um, but yeah, so I think it will be a slight step up, but there's so much support available um, at, you know, I know at University of Reading, but across different universities, you'll have, you know, uh, academic staff on hand to go to with questions or if you've got any queries or you just, you know, you want some help with a particular bit that you're not quite understanding. Um, there'll also be kind of um, pastoral support. So, you know, if you're, you know, struggling or you just need some extra help, there'll be people on hand. So um, definitely recommend um, yeah, you're not on your own. So don't feel like it's going to be a massive leap, massive step up and you're going to be thrown out on your own and you're you know, away from home and um, and your support network. You know, you're going to find that support network at university. Um, but yeah, it's, it'll be, a, a, you know, it might be a challenge, um, but it's an exciting one. And, you know, um, and that's why it's really important to do your research to make sure you're on a course that you're you're interested in the modules, you're interested in the way you're going to be taught and assessed so that you're you go in and you're confident and you're you're on the right your right course and the right place for you. And feel free, Louise, to add in anything else as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think that was um, excellent advice. Um, I think, as you say, it comes back to research as well. So making sure that the kind of assessment that your course does is the kind of way that you like to be assessed. If you know that you're somebody that hates exams, don't take a course that's 100% exam um, and making sure that it covers the subject areas you're most interested in, 
um, in terms of the way that you're taught, I think that sometimes um, doing a BTEC can set you up really nicely for university because it can be um, in some ways quite a bit more independent. Um, you have to keep track of things like your own coursework. You might have to do quite a lot of independent study and critical thinking. And that is something that will definitely be required of you at university as well. Um, so that can actually be a really nice transition from BTEC to university because it can kind of mirror that learning style that you might have already experienced. There might be other ways as well that you learn at university, depending on what your course is, um, practicals and trips, lectures, tutorials. Um, but yeah, as Rachel said, just make sure you do your research to find the right kind of course for you. I've got another question here that I think is uh, probably relevant for both of you, but I'll ask Sam first. Um, somebody's asked, how can I make my personal statement look good and stand out as a BTEC student? Shall, shall I go first, Rachel? I, you, I think you could probably both both answer. Um, it, it, it's a really, really good question and there isn't a simple answer to sort of making your personal statement stand out but I actually think you know as st studying a BTEC qualification is, is a really excellent mix of both academic study and practical experience and that, that's what the BTECs have been designed for and so you'll be in a lovely position of, of really laying that out so saying I, I'm interested in these subject areas but also this BTEC has brought these practical skills to me which can normally be translated well to the skills you would need at universities, all the, those soft skills that Rachel has spoken about in terms of time management, being able to be self-motivated with perhaps any practical experience you've gained and combining that with your studies, um, showing that real interest already in perhaps a particular vocational pathway. And universities are normally we're keen to make sure that that our students are placed out into the workplace and so we're we're quite happy to see from that that initial application point that you've already perhaps got a particular pathway in mind because you've taken a slightly more vocational course um so i think by very the very virtue that you're doing your btech will help you to craft that statement um to stand out because you're going to have that lovely combination of soft skills as well as academic interest that we're looking for I don't know whether you can you want to add anything further, Rachel. No, that was that was brilliant. The only thing I'd add is just yeah, things if you've done things like work experience or you've you know I know sometimes with um um BTEC qualifications you know you might get lots of kind of opportunities to go out to employers. But also employers might come into you quite a bit and you might be able to form those relationships. So I guess if you've got any examples of kind of actual real life work experience or maybe you've helped out with a project or you've you know you've had to engage with um you know employers or and things like that and those skills as well you can highlight those and yeah it's just about selling yourself so whatever kind of experiences you've had um you know sell yourself this opportunity to kind of um blow your own trumpet and you know really kind of highlight you know your skills and your attributes and why you're why you're suitable for the course you're applying for before we wrap up i just want to ask um to both of you if you have one final top tip um for students who might be considering um, applying to university who are from a BTEC background. So Sam, if we go to you first, one top tip. Well, more, more than the, the research message, which I think has been put very clearly by both of you in this. Um, I think really just, just understand the benefits of, of the qualifications that you're currently taking and how they will prepare you very well for university study. Um, and, and, and sort of display that clearly in your personal statement. And I, I suppose, and I know you just wanted one top tip, but my other very, very quick plug would be please engage with the admissions teams that you're applying to. So all of these questions have been really good today and um, are quite common questions that we receive. And I think for BTEC students, it, there is a wealth of information, but quite often you, you need some sort of personal advice to unpick the BTEC that you're studying and how that will help you apply for university studies so engage with admissions teams we love speaking to our applicants um, if you haven't yet been to an open day come to an open day and see us and and talk about the um about the, the vtech you're taking and, and how that will help you along the path to higher education if that's what you want to do post level three and good luck good luck with your applications amazing thank you um rachel any top tips yeah so other than you know research and you know and also getting in touch i just just say um i know that this and i'm hoping this has changed but i know back you know when um 
many years ago, you know, people thought, oh, if I do a BTEC, I can't go to university. But the message is you definitely can. Um, lots and lots of universities accept BTEC qualifications. So do look into the universities and get in touch with their admissions departments if, you, if you're unsure or you're not quite, you know, if you need to double check things like if you're doing the right BTEC and the module alignment and things like that. But yeah, just to reaffirm that, you know, um, BTEC students make you know excellent applicants for university. So if you're interested in going to university, do you know look into it um, and you know find those answers to things because it's a you know definitely a worthwhile route for you. Um, and yeah, um, do your research and yeah, all the best with with applications and things like that. <laughs>